So I'm wondering if, if you could share some best practices for monitoring models once they've been deployed into production. How are you guys making sure that it's behaving as you trained it to behave? And, and what are some things that you look for once it's been deployed? Uh, let's go to Shantana. Yeah, I think if we've if if you have done the best practice stuff that we've been mentioning so far with experiment design and sort of pipeline design, then you're already in a good place to be able to monitor your models in production. The tracking and monitoring obviously has to continue. And it has to be everything has to be versioned well so that and not just the model rate, everything has to, the snapshot of what was the code on this day, what did the model look like, what did the data look like. It's only when you have a snapshot of all of those things that you can figure out what caused something. So being able to do that forensic analysis and creating the telemetry to facilitate that is extremely important. And then I think Ronnie alluded to this before too, is alerting, right? Proper alerting and being able to respond quickly to those alerts and knowing who's responsible for it and jumping on it is extremely important as well. Thank you so much, Antana. Uh, Ronnie, let's, uh, let's jump, jump to you. I know you touched on this a little bit, but I'd love to, to dig a little bit deeper. Yeah, everything Shantana said. I, I don't uh, personally do do much of the monitoring of launched models in production, but I think one one thing that I deal with a lot is if, if we want to have a model that, say, I trained and during the research and want to get it launched, we put it through this tool that, that I can't change that simulates the real world, like launched conditions that it, it runs the entire life launch pipeline and, and evaluates my model on, on like fresh and like very realistic data that will come in through, through the traffic. So that way we can get gold standard, like trustable numbers on, on how well this model compares to, to a previous model. And, and there's another tool that I use which is to, I compare my research model to the current production model and on, on current traffic, run it for a couple hours and then gather like maybe 500 examples and, and have raters like a human transcribers rate, did the experiment model do better or did the production, the old production model do better on the same exact output of the model? And we, we call it a, a side-by-side and, and that way it, it's, yeah, it, it's pretty, you, you get a pretty clear answer on, on whether your model did better or not, your, your candidate launch uh, model. 